What patient factors should be taken into account prior to conducting an inpatient direct amoxicillin challenge? Once a history has been established that a direct challenge is appropriate, patients should be hemodynamically stable prior to challenge. Staff are needed to administer the challenge and be available to respond to any potential symptoms. Medications should be available on the floor, including amoxicillin, antihistamines, and epinephrine in the unlikely event of a reaction. How is an inpatient challenge conducted? Prior to challenge, vital signs should be taken and any physical exam findings, such as rash or pulmonary findings, should be noted. The patient can then be given one-tenth of the amoxicillin dose, usually 25 to 50 milligrams, wait 30 minutes, and then be given the full dose, usually 250 to 500 milligrams. It is recommended that the patient stay on the floor for 30 to 60 minutes after the challenge. Higher level of care, such as ICU or one-to-one -one monitoring, are not required. During the observation period, patients should be instructed to let their team know of any symptoms. How often do patients have reactions to amoxicillin challenges? Using appropriate risk stratifications, most patients have no symptoms during an amoxicillin challenge. The most common symptoms seen during a challenge are usually stress-related and can include subjective symptoms, including itching without rash, nausea, or tingling of the lips and hands. Subjective symptoms usually do not require any treatment and resolve spontaneously. While rare, allergic symptoms can occur and are usually in the form of hives or a morbilliform rash. Benign rashes can be treated with antihistamines. Anaphylaxis is extremely rare with direct challenge and can be treated with intramuscular epinephrine. What steps should be taken after a negative challenge? The patient's penicillin allergy should be removed from their chart. The challenge outcome should be updated in the current admission notes. Ideally, the patient will be given documentation regarding the negative challenge, such as a wallet card, in order to inform healthcare professionals outside of the health system. If possible, the patient's pharmacy should also be notified. The patient should also be advised to avoid mentioning any penicillin allergy history at future medical encounters to avoid relabeling.